Hello everyone and welcome back and today I'm going to be doing a part 2 on the Wings of Fire hybrid challenge. And I really wanted to do this again because I had so much with the first one so I decided to give it another shot. Anyway, let's get into the first hybrid. So for the first one I got a high wing silk wing. And I was really excited about this one because with high wings I could make the colors a lot darker and it would look really pretty together. In fact, I saw this really beautiful color palette and I decided to use it for this character. I didn't know what to come up with a name for it, but I eventually settled with the name Chrysalis for this dragon. It, it just looked like a chrysalis to me. And it might be a little sp simple or basic name, but I really had fun drawing this character as always. Uh, when I looked at the color palette, I had a lot of beautiful blues as well as darker pinks and grays, and so I had so much fun trying to be creative with uh, this drawing. Um, I might actually come up with a story for her. I don't exactly know what it will be or what her backstory will be, but uh, I'll think about it soon, and here's the finished drawing. Next, I got a Leafwing Nightwing. I was also really excited for this one because I love the designs on Leafwings. Leafwings is just some of the... They just have such cool designs. I cannot lie. Drawing them is so much fun. And I decided to name this character after a night plant. And I found this plant that was called a Night Gladiolus, if I'm pronouncing it right, but I'll just stick to calling her Gladiolus for short. And I actually looked up something, a reference for like a fantasy plant or whatever, some, something mythical made up and used those colors for it. Because I guess since it was night and leafing, I decided to go for more of like a mythical, non-existent plant. And so that's what I did for this drawing. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. And there's the finished drawing. And lastly, I got a high wing sea wing. I didn't really know what to do with this one, to be honest, but I looked up different water bugs and I found this one type of insect that was a dragonfly nymph. So that's what the colors are pretty much based off of. And this time I did get a suggestion to make it like two pairs of wings and make it look like a high wing, which helped me a lot and took up so much less time than me having to draw four wings for characters all the time. And so, yeah. Honestly, this might not be my favorite dragon. I still love the design a lot, personally, and adding all the different dark splotches around the character. But I decided to name it Nymph after it after the dragonfly nymph for the character. And anyway, without further ado, here is the finished drawing. Hope you enjoy. And that's pretty much it. I might do a part three, just let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.